Hail deputies. Wow, I don't know how I missed this before. But there's a shovel right here. So I'm going to take that. Because I need that to dig up a grave. So now... Can I fast travel there? What? If it's marked, why can I not fast travel there? Because I want to go over here. It looks like it'd be better if I followed this road so that... Because, I mean, this might be obstructed in some way, so... I'm gonna go... Uh, this way. Objective completed. Get a spade. Alright. Have my bow equipped. It's my preferred weapon for uh, for most games because uh, I don't know. There's something very satisfying about being very far away from someone and yet being able to reach them and kill them or, or incapacitate them. Have, have I been to this place before? Yeah, I think I looked around here. Let's go down the road some more. I don't know the hour, but shadows are getting a little bit longer. Alright. There's lots of like herbs that I could stop and pick, but it seems very time consuming and boring, so. I'm not gonna pick any until at least I know more about how to use them. They don't sell for much. Or they don't seem to sell for much. Let's see if we can go in here and kill for anything. Doesn't seem to be anything in there of note. And what is this? A shrine. A shrine to whom? I'm going to go down this trail. It looks like it goes to where I need to go, which is the cemetery. The lighting, the graphics, and everything in this game is just rocking. Looks so real. It's awesome. I wonder what this is over here. Holy moly, what is this? It's out in the middle of nowhere. Very hard lock pick, and I don't have any locks. But, um, hmm. I wonder if I can mark this. Yeah, too bad I can't, like, give it a name and say, yes, this is the place with the mysterious chest. The chest that, uh, that I cannot, uh, hello. A wayfarer. Good day to you. 
Not this again. No thanks. Let's go down the road. We're going to the cemetery to dig up a body. Yes, indeed we are. We're going to dig up a body. A body. A body. All the pretty flowers. Just amazing graphics. So further south. Lots of beautiful flora. And uh, flora. I haven't seen much in the way of fauna. That's lots of pretty flora. Yeah, in Skyrim, it's like we would have been beset on by wolves and such before now. But there's not much in the way of um, uh, uh, hostile, host hostile creatures at this point in the game, at least. At some point, I imagine we're going to encounter bandits and so forth, which we have encountered some bandits. Um, we were knocked up by that Lucille. <laughs> yes, indeed we were. That was very painful. It took some getting used to. Okay, so we're going to take the first left over here. In fact, I want to put a marker here. Hmm which takes it away from there. So I just have to remember that, that mysterious chest is over there. Okay, where is this marker on my screen? Well, it's this way. I know that much. Even the paths are very realistic looking. Which is just amazing, incredible. Love it. to go according to the map marker you discovered gallows hill new codex entry execution places were situated on hilltops at crossroads and out of town as they were considered unclean these were deserted places that everyone avoided no craftsman would work near for fear of losing his reputation the only one to be seen thereabouts was the executioner who often lived near the site. Common folk would approach the gallows or execution place for the sole purpose of witnessing an execution. Executions became popular folk entertainment, often with the whole town gathering to watch, but sentencing to capital punishment was a right granted only to selected towns, and by no means all of them had their own executioner. Yeah. There's a grave somewhere. Let's look at the map here. Hmm. Is this it? This is it. So start digging. to use. 
Nothing on the left hand. The right. Oh shit, there's nothing there either. Where the fuck is that ring? <coughs> oh, a stench makes me want to puke. Peshek will pay for this. Okay. Perhaps someone was here before me and uh, nabbed the ring. Okay, let's fast travel back here if we can. How in the heck do- okay, we gotta click on that special little symbol thingy. Alright, so we have returned. So that I had a new um, thingy, but uh, I think I already had this one, the Ecumenical Council. Now let's find, uh, okay, the miller. First, let's do... You know, I uninstalled the... the save anywhere, and now... I thought they had patched this. I thought they had patched this. Okay. I'm gonna have to try reinstalling that mod. I don't want to lose progress. There was no ring there. There was a corpse in the grave, but no ring. What the fuck is going on? Easy, Hal. Hold your horses. If the ring wasn't on the corpse, the executioner must have taken it before he buried the body. Well, I can see where this is going. You want me to get the ring from the executioner? Clever lad. Only I wouldn't recommend talking to him about it. He's a bit touchy on the subject of robbing the dead. It'd be better to pinch it from his house. All right. <laughs> All right, I'll go and find that ring. It should be in a trunk somewhere in the house. And look here, Henry. Do you know how to get past a lock? Get past a lock? You mean jemmy it off with a crowbar? No, you don't. I mean the delicate, gentle art of opening it quietly and with sensitivity, like popping a young maiden's cherry. Uh, let's say that I can't pick a lock C just to see what he has to say. Maybe he'll give me some uh, training or something. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to try that yet. Fucking hell. How did I get landed with a cretin like you? I'll have to teach you then. Come with me. <laughs> See? <laughs> Try unlocking this trunk. Oh. What if I don't have any lockpicks? All right. Alright. I did it! Don't tell me it's bug. You reached you've improved lock picking. You you reached a new level of lock picking, okay? Yeah, I'm pressing E to open and nothing's happening. Alright. <sighs> I need to get some, uh, 
Ooh, look, I have a lockpick. It won't let me talk to him. Okay. Still can't talk to him. You improved lock picking. Well, every time I do this, it seems to improve my lock picking skill. But I don't know how many times am I going to be doing this. Because I can't seem to end it. it seems like he. It's a perpetual loop here. You've reached a new level in lock picking. Tin lockpick, okay. Now what? bugged out. Can't talk to him anymore. Um. How did we get like here? I don't remember coming here. The game may be bugged. Um, oh wow, what's all this? Un unexplored place. Find the ring. Get in. Okay, I gotta go back to the executioners. Um, it's this way. By the time I get there, it might be dark, which would probably be a good thing. So that I'm not seen. Let's stay to the right. Let's try to run as much as we can because uh, I can't fast travel there, even though I've been there before. And I haven't a horse. You've reached a new level of vitality. What did I get that from running? 
I'll have to run more often then. Raining, soaking wet. And the chest is over that way. It is indeed getting dark. Check them out. Quite a run, let me tell ya. You get to the executioners. You gotta go past the pretty flowers. And it says that it is black in color, but it doesn't look black, it looks red. It says that my noise is 33 and my visibility is 51. Conspicuous 55. Hmm. If I take off those foot wraps, my noise level drops. Um, if I take off that thing, my noise level drops and the other stuff drops as well. Alright. Green tunic. Okay. Cause I want to be very quiet. Very quiet. See, I want to save the game, but I cannot. That is very annoying. I thought the patch fixed that. I seriously thought the patch fixed that, but it obviously did not. Can I do anything to help?
Try and get him out of the house, okay. Miller Peshek sent me. He's very sorry, but by mistake, he didn't give you the full weight of flour last time. He says you should come and get the balance. That rogue, how much is it? Half a sack. That's nothing to sneeze at. It certainly isn't. I'll go there right away. Good. So, where's the house? Is this the house? It's like the barn or what have you. I guess this is the house. You're in a private area. I could do with a bite to eat. Eat from the pot. Still, it's food while I'm here, right? How do I do this? It says uh, D to rotate lock. I don't understand. T for help. <sighs> the thing turns gold when you're at the sweet spot and then you have to use the lock gate to turn the whole lock mechanism. At the same time, you have to coordinate the movement of the lock pick with the rotation of the mechanism because the rotation shifts the position of the sweet spot. Okay. Well, let's try again. Unlocked. Okay. Dead man's ring. Let's take that. What? This is nothing but an ordinary copper band. It's not worth a tin penny. Alright, um... You like that basket or your doggy? Um, fast travel. Back. Oh, there is the way to go through there then. Huh. What kind of trick were you trying to pull last time, you cur? I went all the way to the mill for nothing. Clear off and don't show your face here again. <laughs> No, I cannot save it, it will not let me, okay. And it won't let me talk to him either. I completed the annoying quest and it's bugged. Oh, maybe it's not. Now I can talk to him because he's not carrying that bag, I guess. God be with you. Go 
Tell me something about yourself. Tell me something about yourself. There's nothing much to tell. I was born at the mill, I live here, and I'll surely die here. But before I do, I've plenty of work to do, and I hope I live to see peace in this land again. Tell me something about the other millers. Can you tell me something about the other millers? There's a couple of other fellows around here in my trade. Woodsek in Kohelnitz and Simon in Sasa. What is it? Tell me about Wojtek. He's young and hot-blooded with a short temper. But he's a fine fellow when you get to know him. His heart's in the right place and he's always willing to lend a helping hand. Unfortunately, he got himself into a feud with that usurer, the merchant Wolfram Pruder. A slimy bastard he is. And now they're sworn enemies. Tell me about Simon. What about this Simon in Sassau? An odd one he is. A loner who don't talk much. But he's as dogged as a hunting hound once he gets his teeth into anything. He won't let go until he sees it through, even if he has to walk over dead bodies. Can you tell me? Can you tell me? Huh. What do you think about what happened? What do you think about everything that's happened? I don't concern myself with the doings of my betters, but this mess isn't good for business. Them two brothers should sort things out between themselves without dragging us into it. I don't give a damn who's king, but that usurper from Hungary has gone too far. Uh, what's the local lord like? What's the local lord like? So Hanush, he treats his people well. But he's tough as an old oak. The way things are these days, I wouldn't wonder if he and his men started kicking some asses. What's Sir Hans like? What's Sir Hans Capon like? Ah, that worthless dandy. Sir Hanish has to knock some sense into him, or I dread to think what will become of this place when he takes over. Do you know the rat Rata Captain? Do you know Sir Bernard, the Rat Eye Captain? He's a grumpy bastard, but fair, I'd say. How about the Scallets folk? What about the Scallets folk? God sent them to punish us for our sins. They don't work, they just idle around begging. And you want to keep a close eye on your belongings when they're around. I'll be glad to see the back of them. Have you heard anything about these Cumans? Do you know anything about those Cumans? The heathen scum that Sigismund brought here. Why do you even ask? You've seen with your own two eyes what they're capable of. That's all. I've got the ring. I'll have that ring for you. Good. Nice to know you're the sort of lad I can trust with a job like that. Now run with the ring to Wojtek, the miller in Kohelnitz. He'll have some work for you, and I'll have something for you soon too. A clever fellow like you will never want for work. At the very least, I'll buy risky goods from you. I mean, the kind that used to belong to someone else and you can't sell to just anyone. Stolen goods? Thanks, but no thanks. I'm not a thief. He says, no thanks, I'm not a thief. And then I have the option to, will you teach me to pickpocket? <laughs> Would you teach me something about the uh, milling craft? Like how to get things out of strangers' purses into your own? Aye, why not? You're handy enough. No doubt you'll master it. 
Come behind the mill where we won't be seen. Grab behind the mill with Peshek. What oh, the hell? You. Hey, 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 don't look, don't close me in here. I want to follow you and you shut the door right in my face. How are you, Henry? Uh, who said that? I'm fine. That was you talking. That was pretty odd. Oh, the privy. I'll probably need to use that later on. <laughs> uh -huh. How are you, Henry? I'm fine, Mr. Peshek. I'll stand here and pretend I don't know you're there. You try sneaking up behind me without me seeing you and take something from my purse. First, you have to rummage in the purse. The longer you do it, the better chance you have of finding something valuable, but also of getting caught in the act. Once you've found something you want, you've got to pull it out, carefully, but fast enough so I don't notice. Try stealing my dagger. It's there, mixed up with other things. All right. Try to steal. Be a bit more careful. All right, all right, all right. Just hold, hold on now. I'm learning. Caught you. If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Why are you sneaking? The... Hold your search first. Caught you. If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Caught you. If this was for real, I'd be yelling so I for a suck, guard. And I don't understand how this works. Caught you. If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Pocketing successful. Okay, let's try it again. Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Caught you. If this was for I real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Works. Try it again. Other than I'm just, just hold the E key down. I mean. I'm guessing that the changing of colors is significant in some way. Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Caught you. If this was for they real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Me, except for that one Try time. it again. Alright, so like when it... I don't know how to... You know, once I get that wheel up there, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Moving my mouse didn't change what was on the... Caught you. If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Caught you. If this was for real, I'd be yelling for okay, a guard. Okay, so when I get that, try it again. When I get that larger wheel, I can use like A and D to go around the circle. All right. Then what? I was caught. I'll stand here and pretend I don't know you're there. You try sneaking up behind me without me seeing you, 
and take something from my purse. First, you have to rummage in the purse. The longer you do it, the better chance you have of finding something valuable, but also of getting caught in the act. Once you've found something you want, you've got to pull it out, carefully, but fast enough so I don't notice. Try stealing my dagger. It's there, mixed up with other things. Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. This is just way too complicated. Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. He doesn't look drunk. Damn f Caught you! What the hell is this? If this was for real, I'd be- Pickpocket! What? What the fuck are you doing? Hey, Keep your sticky you fingers to yourself! Aw, oh, give me a freaking break. Guard! Guard! Come here quick! Come here There's quick. a thief over There's there! There's a thief over there! You- Guard! You gotta be freaking Help! kidding me. This this is insane. That's so stupid. I'm crazy. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, so now what? What are what are they gonna do to me? They're running around saying, "God help, it's thieves." What's my next quest here? Does Miller Peshek promise to teach me how to pick pockets? Well, no, he's running around yelling like a sword, I mean, a chicken with his head cut off and getting very dark. I ran this away. It's getting really, really dark. As you can see. Alright, see, so inventory. Other. Where are my torches? It's under. Get the, the purest quality one and equip it. Wow. That actually seems to make it worse. Makes visibility worse. You lose your night vision. back Miller's uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do I don't want to save the game because they're now hostile to me I'm guessing and acting crazy and I can't complete quests and stuff as a result so I guess I'm gonna be 
forced to reload a save game, which is going to put me back to... I'll have to redo this whole episode all over again. Uh, let's unequip the torch. So I hope you have enjoyed this. Uh, I'll try to figure out what to do, and I'm definitely reinstalling the uh, save mod, because obviously you didn't patch. I don't know why it seemed to work for a while, but now I can't save anymore. Uh, it says, if you're seeing committed any crime and it, and it went away... Oh, lordy. Uh, let's see... Crime... If someone sees you committing a crime, but you don't get caught, you're still not in the clear. Witnesses will remember you. If you're into theme of crime, there's a strong chance the guards will still be on the lookout for you. Will continue to pursue you. This is indicated by the punishment icon reappearing next to the compass on your return. When the catch bulls catch you, unless they want to kill you outright, they will confiscate all your loot and impose a penalty for all your known infringements of the law. Once you accept your punishment, all your known felonies in the location will delete it. If you find the punishment too harsh, you can try talking your way out of it. If that doesn't work, you can always resist arrest or take to your heels. All the once you take that course of action, the guards will take a harsher approach and try to stop you by force. Don't get caught and don't leave witnesses. Alright, well I have a trunk here. Uh, let's put uh, my junk in there. Anything that's marked as stolen, I'm gonna put in there. Um... Alright, so I have put everything in there for the moment in case I get caught by the guards. So I have this thing at the top. It's at the top. It's to the left of my directional bar. I guess that means I've been caught stealing? I don't know. But anyways, I think I'm going to just reload the game. This is utterly ridiculous that they would react that way uh, when they were just teaching me how to pickpocket and whatnot. Um, the whole thing is utterly ridiculous. Um, the dialogue where he says Oh, no, no, I'm not a thief, blah, 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 blah. And then I get the option for to be taught how to pickpock. When you just said, oh, I'm not a thief, that's just stupid. That is stupid, 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 stupid. So we'll see you next time, guys. Bye.